<laughs> do you wanna re do you wanna do another version of that 7-Eleven video today? Yeah. And I bought the the world's mintiest chewing gum, and then do a slurpee with it. This video has taken a very different turn. It was going one direction, and we went to the library obviously to get Ruger some books. And I met a guy that I met a few years ago at a gas station. I don't want to spill too much about it because it will give away who it is. And he's not in a great place right now. But when I met him, we had a really cool experience, made a really fun video out of it. And he said a lot of people have recognized him since that video. But I'm, uh, I'd show you the video, but I don't want to spill the beans on it. I'm sorry, I know that's a stupid tease. But I did, have you heard of the Savannah Bananas? The Savannah Bananas because it's given me a good old idea. I'm going with no audio. Essentially, a baseball team that weren't doing that well and they're up to 9 million followers now on TikTok because the guy who owns the place thought, what if we, what do you expect from baseball? You expect people to play baseball. What if we do the opposite? What if we have people dance? We do this, we do that. And you turn baseball from the being an entertainment source of baseball to a various, a very different entertainment source, which got me thinking, what if you could swing but without using your legs. How long does it take to get to max height? Let's find out. This is gonna be it. And do it on this one. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, syncing up the audio here. And start. That was body, and that went a lot faster than I expected. Hello, sir. I recently graduated from Crocs to Birkenstocks, by the way. Proud of that. Okay. I'm trying to get into this place on TikTok where I can do more than just the typical story style video that I have been doing. Because at the moment, I know how to do one thing and I know how to do one thing really, really well. But that leaves me stuck in a rut as to what I can create. Because there are so many videos and ideas for things I want to try, but I just don't know how to make it into my typical video format. So this is just one more format. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna edit it yet. 85 degrees and I'm sweating. So I've been thinking a lot recently about how some people on social media, they just have it, right? They they it doesn't look like they're trying. They're just they're just being them and people love them. And I always ask myself, why? What is it they're doing? What's so unique? Like there's gotta be some special secret hack to what they're doing to grow the way they do. <laughs> Often I'll share why I'm laughing in a second. It's because they don't think. The people that take a long time to get to where they want to be are the thinking people. The people have to figure it out me. But for the people that just get it, they're not thinking. They're just doing whatever feels natural to them in the moment. And the thing I've realized that I think is holding me back, which it sounds almost sinister to realize it and then to delve into it a bit. But I think it's something that I need to delve into myself is vulnerability, sharing the things that I feel vulnerable about, vulnerable about, because I, why would I share those is my thought. And as a family, 
not this family, my family having grown up, never really talked about emotions. Emotions didn't really factor into things. Again, that's not to say my parents are, are wrong for the way that they brought us up. Again, amazing childhood, wouldn't have changed that. But knowing what we know as a world, as a community now, emotions are so important and to be able to learn how to process those and do what's needed with those, to understand them, what they mean, how to improve them, how to change them, how to become a much better person. It's very similar actually to Funyun. We look at all these ingredients, so many ingredients, but I imagine if you go back 10, 15, 20 years, this wouldn't have anywhere near the ingredients that it does now. And even if they did, our parents wouldn't really have known about all those ingredients. What are they? What do they do? What are they for? How do they impact the body? Whereas now, with the ability to share so much information, we know about them and we know what that does to our body. And so our age group and younger, maybe a bit older too, are looking at this stuff and instead of saying, oh, we had it when we were younger, you'll be fine. We're saying, or we're realizing this stuff is terrible for you and your body does not need it. In fact, you should never be putting this stuff in your body. Does that mean I won't eat the Funyuns? I don't even want the Funyuns now. I just thought I had to do that for this video. All right, the email. I've been talking with the guys behind a company called Choppy, which is a 90% plant-based meat, 10% meat. So like beef tallow, collagen, and bone broth. Essentially trying to change the meatless industry because it's a pretty negative industry. It's of like, meat is the disgrace of the world. And the joke behind all of this, I want to read you, this is, this is good. This has to, hands down, best email I've ever received from a brand. Subject line. I want to get you a bunch of meat. Love that. I'm all about getting some meat in me. Hey Oliver, please excuse the weird subject line. No, I love the subject line. I'm Bryce, co-founder of Choppy, a convenience meat who's about to expand across KC at Hy-Vee. At this point, they're in Hy-Vee's. Congratulations. We make pre-cooked entrees that are both 90% plant proteins, 10% beef fat, bone broth, and collagen. So they're high in protein, taste like they should, and are super easy for those nights you don't want to cook some elaborate meal for the kids. <laughs> I, fuck, I fucking love this bit. In parentheses, which are brackets in England, because you need to record two hours of toothbrush content after. That's I fucking, I so love that when a real person wants to partner and not only do they make the email personal, they enjoy it too. Like you can tell he's enjoyed writing this email. I stumbled upon your work and have been in a rabbit hole for the past 30 minutes trying to find something witty to say. And honestly, I'm at a loss. It's just really good content. If you're interested, I'd love to find a way to hook you up with samples of our products and explore ways to spread the word. Love it. This came through and I, we're just about to have dinner and I don't, I finish work at four and then don't work until the kids are in bed. Bryce, you won best brand email I've ever received with that subject line. I'm hanging with the fan now, so I'll shoot you a proper response when I'm all cuddled up in bed thinking about your meat. Heart eyes emoji. Love at first sight. That's cool. Brands, you should be doing that, all right? Enough of this flipping, hello, sir. Would you be interested? Like, just fucking give me the information. Let's get going on this in a fun, beautiful way. All right, I think, honestly, this swing edit, you can see this is mad, isn't it? I wasn't in a particularly highly energetic place, when I left the house. But after doing that, I should be low on energy. But I feel high on energy now. It's like, I just did something I wanted to do there and then in the moment. Do you know how liberating that feels to have been in a place where for the last eight years, I've been sat at a desk for eight hours a day between certain times of the day, having to work on something that I don't care about. You know what, to you, Oliver, well done for getting yourself to this place, well done. And to you, if you've made yourself, if you've gotten yourself to a really good spot that you're proud of, well done to you as well. It sounds corny, doesn't it? But seriously, don't bite your lip and then get all serious, Oliver. Well done to you. <laughs> yes. This is actually kind of a little interesting pick. So I normally go, I don't like lights on when I edit. Window closed over there, so. A uh, button for it is back behind here. So this edit actually took me quite a long time. You've obviously already seen it. So Oliver, do the piece now. You've already... Wait, will you have seen it? Here's where my logic right now. When I edit this, I'm probably gonna edit this to be like the video I'm gonna put online instead of making you watch the five, six minutes of me actually swinging. Yeah, so I do need to tell you that obviously you've already seen what I came up with. 
Yeah, you've seen what I came up with. I'm so lost. My mind can't comprehend it, but I think that's right. Okay, yeah, it took me a while to figure out how to do it. Here are some of the thought processes that I went through. At the beginning of the video, bear in mind, this video is going on TikTok, Instagram, maybe YouTube shorts as well. I thought about having a piece of video where I'm gonna sit down for like a couple of seconds to have the caption at the top of the video to let people know what's happening, and then I get into it. And I thought, no, I may as well just get straight into it, right? Because I could lose people at that point thinking, oh gosh, he's gonna take ages to get ready. And then I didn't wanna add an ending, I was just gonna stop it when the time stopped. But I, that does, there's no satisfaction that you don't get to really like understand the overwhelming accomplishment. No, you don't get to like process how long it actually took and then watch me try and get off. Which then got me thinking about adding some captions for like some of my thoughts as I go through the video. Now, so I had three ways to do it. One was my typical story type with a whole character arc through it. But I think it would have been way over the top for what this is. The second way to do it was me talking, like narrating my way through it. But then I thought... This is such a simple concept that if I do it with no audio, this could go, if it's going to go viral, it goes viral worldwide because there's no language barrier. Like if someone hears someone talking in the video and they don't speak that language, you're going to scroll most likely. So yeah, all done. Uh, funny how that probably took about an hour and a half to figure that out for a such a simple video. But that's the, I think that's the social media side of me, the experience trying to come into play of how do you angle this video Instead of just being a video of someone swinging, how do you turn it into something a little bit more engaging with that viral arc to it? Cool. All right, I am done for the day. I'll see you chill with the family. Toodles.